Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Hot Projects, where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now, some potentials. There are some NFT offerings that are from, I reckon, good chances to get in and make some profit in the long run. We're going to be getting into some sponsored content. So we have two Watch to Earn sponsors, and therefore we have $600 to give away. So if you want to have a chance of winning one of 12 lots of $50, then go down into the comment section and post anything you like. Go to Discord, go to the competition wallet section and post your wallet address, BSC, and your YouTube name. And you will have a chance to be random selected in three days time. Last week we had $600 to give away. So congratulations. This money has all been sent to each of these addresses now. You've each got 60 USDT. Okay, so let's get into this week's episode of Hot Projects. Okay, first up we're taking a look at Krypton. A game that is available and ready to play. It is available on the Wax blockchain. We're going to be taking a look at the trailer we're going to be going through all the nft assets and doing some openings today and then we're going to be going into some actual gameplay okay next up we have krypton a game that is very unique in the fact that you can choose the way you earn your play to earn rewards there's three factions titan chaos and astria you'll be destroying alien bases and sharing the rewards the goal is to explore the new planet build a futuristic city via a really nice user interface keeping the city stable and you can see you are basically protecting them from the attacks as well as attacking. Victory belongs to those who choose their path. So the way the play to earn rewards will work is based on the faction that you choose. So with Titans, winners get better return. So the top three get 3% 3 of the reward. Top four to 100 get 1%. The others get none. With Astria, the rewards are shared equally among everybody. And with Chaos, rewards are distributed randomly. It boasts a, a high ROI with a sustainable plan. 20 days ROI is the expected time to get that. Plan to get other revenue streams in the future as well, not just NFT sales. It will be limited to 60,000 robots for all the game. There may be robot renting in future. But if you want to pick up a pack, you can go to the website now, click pack, and it'll take you to the Atomic Hub website where you can pick up either an Astria Chaos or a Titan capsule. Currently priced at $60. It'll tell you the contents in that. So a team flag, two robots with those of the drop rates, 70% common, 20% silver, 10% gold. And you can see how much has been sold as well. So Titan is the most popular at the moment. That's really for competitive players who want to come at the top just want equal distribution. Astra is a fairly good one to go for, seeing as not as many packs have been sold. So it's probably going to be distributed between less players than Titan. But remember, there's a lot of people outside of that top 100 in Titan that aren't getting any rewards at all. We are going to our inventory where I'm going to open three Titan capsules. Wax blockchain, very cheap gas fees. We have, dun, dun. oh, 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 Titan flag, oh. Cool. Do you get Titan flag with everyone? What's this guy? It's got purple beam underneath him. Silver, silver nymph. Minor commons and a Titan flag. Gold, gold. Yeah, we got gold. Boom. Oh, nice. We absolutely smashed those odds. So six cards, and we got one silver, one gold. What have we got? We've got this Midas with the golden touch. Another important thing to choose though is picking a team, a faction that has the highest score because they will be rewarded with control of 100 land units. Those lands will be distributed among players based on each faction's founding principles. Krypton has a variety of different assets in terms of NFTs. We've got miners, soldiers, explorers. There's a builder that's required to build NFT materials, building land units that can be obtained by occupying new land. We have alien parts that help upgrade, develop new technology, materials that help increase activity frequency roadmap is as follows build your own krypton army has been done the first mission to seize gameplay phase one mission one attack on planets the second mission will be to colonize third to face the conflict and fourth you are not alone voting systems and multiverse so here we have it the game is ready and available to play we can see the exact stats on all the different factions here titan army is killing it 1.7 million is their score. The Krypton Army is 1,213. You can see that the Astrea are losing and we have the Chaos in second place. Kind of closing in on the Titan Army. Um, once you've got your NFT army and you've got your building installed, you can join the mission. So you can go to all the different um, NFTs that you've got and assign your army. So they'll come up here. 
you can select them and then commit them, commit them that'll do it use a transaction and then we have the buildings that we can install here as well so you can see that there's different stats based on the rarity for some of these and there are different stats based on what type they are and on the left side we can see exactly what our position building attack power per hour mine power per hour and what our cube hour production is if you want you can then sell your earnings on alcor exchange or you can hold them and use them to form build nfts so we can see there's two units here that can be built and they're going to take cores whore x1 krypton coin and cube power buildings are going to take a lot more but you could actually build yourself a gold barracks if you went and did that and 10 whore x 30 new iron and three cores these are going to be things that you'll pick up along the way through playing the game okay so take a look yourself and see if it's something that you'd be interested in all the links to this will be in the description on to the next one Okay, so next up we have the Parallel, definitely a hot project at the moment. This is going to be an infinite metaverse where you can build, create anything that you want that's going to be playable within the game. Now, their token price has had a nice little bump today because, or yesterday, 35% because of the announcement of their NFT box sale. Now, this is going to be critical to being able to create stuff in the game. We can see some details on the NFT room boxes here. The gold boxes are going to be, there's only going to be a supply of 5,000. They're going to be 150 BUSD each. They're going to contain 3 to 50 runes inside. Whereas platinum boxes, there's going to be less to available. 250 BUSD is going to be the price tag. High valuable runes drop rate and 3 to 70 runes inside of it. Diamond boxes, they're going to be 1,500 total supply. The unit price is $450 scratched out and they changed it to PRL. Now, currently, that means PRL is at a very good price because uh, PRL tokens at this price, 550 PRL, that's, that's worth about 350 BUSD. So you're only paying 100 more than the platinum boxes. With that, you're getting the highest valuable runes drop rate, 3 to 100 runes inside as well. Now, this is going to require four tickets. So they're going to have a ticket system that will begin at one p.m. UTC today so you can lock up 20,000 PRL token tokens and collect up to 30 tickets this is going to run over the, the course of the 3rd of January to the 18th of January you can understand the formula of, of how much you actually have to stake to be able to earn a ticket each uh, to be able to pick these up but they're all all the details are in this which I'll put in the description down below so definitely performing really well at the moment at 65 and I think is one well worth picking up. If you want to get involved in the game that has that, you know, variability of being able to get you uh, to be able to create your own things using the Paragons of Runes, then I think this is a good game for you if you enjoy things like Minecraft. Definitely online with that. It's a good investment to get in a metaverse as well, I think. Um, one that will have a lot of long term potential. Next up we have Squid Games. Everybody knows what Squid Games is. The popular version on Netflix was just an epic, epic TV series. And I've been looking for something. I want to play something in the NFT gaming space that's just like Squid Games. And I want somebody to provide a platform for me to be able to do that. And this is one of the projects that I picked out as something that actually might deliver on that in a good positive way. One of the things the biggest draw for me is the artwork, like just a beautiful design. These are all hand drawn by an artist that took them 300 hours of, of time to actually work these. And yeah, I think they're beautiful. I love the little individual, you know, the like individual sections on their face that make up clearly the characters that we recognize from the series. So what is the Squid Games NFT collection? Uh, basically, it's a 10,000 Squid Game player NFTs. And those players who win the first set of games will receive a handsome reward. Once all of the, the NFTs have been sold, you'll be able to participate in some GameFi play to earn games. Now, you'll get reward participation, but also rewards for winning. Private stage starts in six days, 13 hours. And there is currently a whitelist for you to be able to get in on this. You can get have a chance to get in on this by... Uh, taking part in their gleam competition follow all these actions you know follow socials and everything watch video on tiktok things like that they'll give you more entries and this will give a thousand people the opportunity to mint a player at a 70 percent discount the first 456 nft portraits will be reduced by 70 percent in terms of price and uh you know currently over 20,000 entries so a good opportunity to get in on something right from the ground up when the NFT is at the cheapest. These will be available once you pick these NFTs up to, to go on and, and sell on OpenSea. 
They have a lot of plans and incentives to pick these up very, very early. A lot of rewards that reward early adopters. The players will have different rarities. So at the 10,000 collection, there will be uh, a very amount of each type. So there's players, guards, VIP, policemen, player 001, leader, salesman, and doll. So there's only gonna be one doll in that 10,000 collection, six salesmen in that collection, and uh, increases with players being the most popular um, player type. The roadmap is as follows. Stage zero, there will be 456 players at 0.018 ETH, so a 70% discount there. Then the next 1,144 players will be 0.03 ETH. Those who don't get an ability to mint on the whitelist have an opportunity to do so. Stage two will have 1,400 players at 0.042 ETH. The last chance to mint at a 30% discount before going on to the full price of 0.06 where 7,000 players will be available to mint. Once the mint is done, it's over. There's no ball that can be minted. Stage four, we'll see the launch of the first game where your minted player can be used to be rewarded with governance token. Additionally, the launch of the valuable governance token system. We've got the launch of six metaverse games in stage five. Each stage will give out $25,000 in rewards for the winner. The total reward amount will be $150,000. All games will be monitored and therefore any sort of cheating will lead to an elimination of players. Players may have to team up, so they might have a little bit advanced a warning before a game begins so choose your game team wisely it may lead to elimination of the whole team if you pick badly uh release the games will be released 48 hours after they are announced on the discord channel as mentioned before all of these pieces of artwork are designed hand drawn took 300 hours to create each player attribute background and effect was drawn by hand so it's a really unique collection and honestly like that's one of the biggest draws aside from the the game you know just the quality of the artwork i just love the style i love how it looks and therefore even if you didn't win anything you know i think it'd be a cool nft to hold and potentially it might hold value in the future being that it's a limited amount and before the game's release it'd be really interesting to see how much these start going for on OpenSea. a really exciting feature is that 50 players will randomly receive a bid that is between 10 and 100x of their original mint price users will be able to receive the exclusive player governance token from playing the six metaverse games. Once the metaverse game comes out, more information will be released on the tokenomics and rewards of playing and obtaining this token. The governance token can also be used within games to upgrade in-game skills and is going to be a valuable in-game currency for the players. The governance token is going to be also available for purchasing on decentralized exchanges. Additionally, users can use the awarded governance tokens to participate in governance system that allows you to vote on decisions of the projects such as new partnerships, new features, changes changes and more. It's a great opportunity for players to have more say in decision making. In keeping with the Squid Games theme as well, it can also be used to stop the games so less players suffer losses. The government system will launch at the fourth stage of their roadmap. So if it's something you think you might be interested in, go check it out. It will be in the description. Get in on that Gleam competition. See if you can pick up a whitelist spot to get it at its cheapest price. Next up, we have Bomb Crypto. Again, there's been a hot project for a long time in the blockchain space and they finally announced it. Player vs. Environment is coming on the 18th of January. But is it too late? This token is, in true fashion of the game, bombing. It is absolutely dying. It's about $1.67 last time I looked at it. And so it has tanked a lot. And I, I always predicted this would happen if they didn't move fast on getting PvE and PvP. Um, and I think they've, they've really just missed a great opportunity they've got a great game here but i don't think they had the manpower clearly to create this game as fast as the fact that we're getting this announcement now and not you know we didn't get it a month ago so there's going to be the new thing new feature within the game basically you're going to be able to in the normal phone mode come across these golden chests and in them you will be able to mine a, a, a treasure chest that will hold a key inside it. Now that key is your entry into adventure mode. From that, you would choose your hero to join the battle. There's gonna be different stages with different difficulties. And here it's actually, you know, playing the game. Poor guy just drowned into the, uh, oh no, he completed, that's the portal. <laughs> so we see that there are going to be bosses, which is so cool. And this is a huge attraction for me to this game. But the problem is, I think they've played out so many rewards that 
it might just be too late. They've paid out so much in rewards in terms of the reward pool must be starting to get drained. In terms of the, the people that have been playing this a lot, people who've been, um, you know, talked a bit about people who've been exploiting this and have multiple accounts. So here's how it work. You will find key chests in treasure hunt mode to be able to join adventure mode. You won't need to spend B coin to play. You will lose the key even if you win or lose. You must own at least 15 heroes to be able to join this mode. So it is going to potentially incentivize people to pick up new heroes in the market. Each hero can be used once daily only. Hero stats will stay the same. Monster stats are usually fixed except for the boss, which will be adjusted according to the hero's power and stamina. So you're going to have real difficulty if you've only got a common. You might not have the strength uh, to be able to take it on a boss imagine trying to hit one of those bosses that's coming at you and you don't have that you know distance between you when you lay a bomb down you got like five spaces of, of where it can hit again it's a common you're gonna have to hit it right next to it and that's gonna be really hard and more risky probably you can replay a level many times but the reward will gradually decrease to a certain level applicable only when you've won that level and the difficulty will increase with each stage and the hero will increase with the rarity of the hero so we can see that you know there's different levels different maps as you go along they get more difficult and if you go in with some you know a higher rarity you're going to get more rewards which is you know definitely more incentivizing for people to to pull some more heroes to try and get them um i don't know about you but i feel like i've seen a, a decrease in the amount of hero chests that you can get i haven't got one for ages but i know some people some people have gone through those phases as well whilst i've whilst i've been earning so we'll see i think it's a great move so in the, step in the right direction for this game where it needs to go but you've got to ask yourself is it all a little too little too late um 1.78 is the current price of it and you can just see it's absolutely tanked from this huge price of 8.45 and yeah pv pv 15 days is a long way off a lot can happen in four you know if we take a look at where this is now 15 days ago if we go to like the 17th 18th it was at 4.32 so it's almost opposite 3x lost 66 percent of its value to where it has been you know 4.47 at one point and you know is it going to do the same is it going to be at 60 cents by then who knows it's still a good price from where this started you know if we think about this buy still the current value is is 4x of that so maybe you know we're just judging it based on where it's been but yeah it'll be really interesting to see when this comes out what's they've got the mechanics for pve i wouldn't think they'd be too far off for pvp in terms of obviously they've got the playable moving you actually taking control of your hero but we'll be, we'll be keeping an eye on this one for sure. I'm definitely going to play the PvE when it comes out. Um, I am looking forward to actually being able to play Bomberman. The proper, proper Bomberman, basically, in the crypto space. So let me know your thoughts on that one. It'd be interesting to hear what you guys think about this and the position of it, where it is. What do you think is going to happen to this token price in the future? Next up, we go to Monkey Ball because there's some exciting stuff happening this week for them. On the 4th of January, they will be having their first NFT drop. There are NFTs available currently that you can pick up through a lot of competitions that they're doing, giveaway airdrops. Uh, but this is going to be the very first one where you can pick up 1,000 NFTs available on Public Mint at Magic Eden Launchpad. This is going to be available on the Solana network. If you haven't seen this game, go check it out. I'm really excited for it personally invested in this heads up full disclosure i got some allocation at the private sale for this when we covered it way back and i said this is a 100x possibility and we are making steady progress to there the token price is looking really healthy today 1.77 dollars 2.15 percent up today had a big dip yesterday from two dollars but was holding steady around there over the past couple of days i think this has still got a lot of potential market cap of 44 million we talked about this a while back in terms of comparison to other projects out there i think this has got a 2x in it still we see the nft dropping that's going to be going to potentially have a lot of draw to this project when people are getting invested holding nfts and yeah hopefully this project does very well the gameplay looks really good i love the designs 
the individual NFTs and the avatars are really cool as well. If you haven't seen this, go check it out. It's a next-gen esports game. It's going to be based on football, quick turn-based play-to-earn arcade soccer game offering a high production value gaming experience. If you take a look at what the NFTs have to offer. These are going to be big investments because they will allow you airdrops of game tokens, advanced player in-game pre-game pre-game training camp. You'll be able to access the early breeding season, early access to stadium land at sale as well. So there's a huge, huge, um, huge benefits to holding some of these NFTs. I'm definitely going to be trying to push for one of them, trying to pick one of those up on Magic Eden. If you haven't seen it already, go check it out, see if it's something that you'd be interested in. Links to this will be in the description as well. Next up, Etheria, a project that I'm really excited for. I love the quality of the artwork. I love the fact that it's going to be create to earn. I love the fact that it's going to be a card place game that I think is going to have a lot of potential in the future. And this is one that I am personally invested in in terms of holding tokens for. I've never done any sponsored content for them, but really see this as a long term project that's going to do very well. It has had massive dip in this market from $3.3 all the way down to, you know, we've got the lows of 84 cents. Can you believe it? And picking some of this up now, I think is going to be well worth it. So this game has their initial game offering. Zodiac cards will be available to get from these boxes. Among the rarest in Materia, only 2,600 cards will ever be minted. And the chance to get a Zodiac card will be lower in the future. Each card has a unique victory condition. It will keep you updated on the Zodiac card collection soon, but the Metheria team would love to invite you to their initial game offering on January the 6th. So three days from now, you can claim the rarest Zodiac and God cards in Metheria's first Igo box. Good luck, Metherians. So getting up anything on Binance Marketplace, always very, very difficult. I personally have never, ever been able to pick one up off the first, first sales. I will probably be trying to pick one of these up on the secondary market. I will likely, if I don't get pick one up, I will be waiting a couple of days and then try and pick one up. Usually you see the price decrease after the hype. But usually there's an initial high um, as people try and pick them up. There's a lot of demand um, and a lot of supply. So I think this is going to be one to watch. See if you can you know, get very, very fast. Speed up your internet connection. Get it plugged in. Make sure you're not streaming anything tell everybody in the house to stop doing something that's probably going to give you your best chance to beat any bots but like i say i've never ever picked one up here is what some of the zodiac cards will look like so the first three animals of the zodiac collection in Etheria: cat tiger and a horse now buying nfts these initial game offerings asset offerings don't know about you but they can start to really chip away at your portfolio but you're going to have to wait a while to, to get that, see some of those returns potentially. So just think holding these long terms, yeah, it might take you away your portfolio, but there'll become a point where you'll likely be able to sell them for a lot more than they are worth now. Sometimes they can 2x to 10x. I've seen it before in a lot of other entities related to games. So it might be worth the investment. Okay, well, that is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future updates on different projects, different NFT offerings. There's probably going to be so much available in 2022, and I'm really excited for this year in terms of the NFT gaming space. I think we're going to do big things. I think we're going to see a big boom in NFT gaming as we start to see a lot of people adopting. A lot of mobile games are starting to switch into this space. And yeah, I'm really excited for this year. 2022 is going to be huge. Okay, that's all for this one. See you guys soon.